So JB Spillworn has officially revealed some LEGO City 2024 sets for January 1st and March 1st. The first we'll take a look at is Prison Island, which this is our first Prison Island since the 2016 one, which is a classic set for LEGO City. This does have a different color scheme, but you know, the same approach of this island out on the water. I do like the rugged base there with the rocks and everything. I am kind of sad that they don't have the hot air balloon like that original Prison Island, but I'll take what I can get. And I also really like this new panel piece that has almost like a chain link design to it. That's actually a really cool piece that appears in some other sets from this wave. But yeah, for $110, I think the structure is pretty good. It has 980 pieces. And I do like the design of the interior where you have some underground areas, but also some cells on the top floor and a whole watchtower and helicopter port. Next, there's the $60 crime lab truck. Now we do get a lot of mobile police stations, but this one has some different colors that give me more of a feeling of the world police mobile crime truck. The design of this does have a similar idea to the many mobile police stations. We have that interior, which serves a bit as a forensic lab. And then you have like a whole uh, big screen at the top to track villains and everything. I do like this color scheme more than the brighter, simpler colors of some earlier mobile police vans. And then I like this side build again, using that really nice new chain link panel piece, which just kind of gives a street corner. And you'll notice that throughout these sets, they have various exclusive two by three wanted posters of different villains. That's kind of a cool collectible across the sets. I think my favorite of the police sets for this January wave is the police speedboat and Crook's hideout set. This is $40, which I think is a good price for this design. Again, giving me some feelings of another LEGO World City set, which had kind of an on the sea hideout. The design of this has a pretty cool shipping container for fish at the top there. And another one that you could kind of hide the speedboat. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I, I like just getting some stuff for your out on the sea builds. We don't usually get, say, an oil rig or a container ship as a build from LEGO City. And kind of having this on the sea hideout, I think, is a unique addition without it being too expensive at $40. Oh, and I also love the new color for the bulldog included in this set. Then we have the police and muscle car pursuit. This isn't one of my favorites. I don't really care for either of the two vehicles here. I mean, the muscle car is a lot more interesting than the police car, which it feels like we get a billion police cars. The design of this looks more like a race car than an actual police car. But the muscle car at least has an interesting color scheme, which almost has a snake-like appearance. Like, what is this, a Lego Ninjago 2012 set? But still, I don't really dig the general build of this muscle car, which looks a bit too simple. Of course, it's a six plus city set, so I don't know what to expect. I do think $30 is a bit too expensive for what's included. Oh, and there's also this small poly bag, which has a very simple police buggy. I mean, yeah, that doesn't look like anything they'd use in the police force. One thing I do find really interesting is that this poly bag might have an exclusive wanted poster. At least this wanted poster doesn't appear in any of the revealed police sets for this wave. So if they're doing that, that'd be a pretty cool thing to just put an exclusive two by three wanted poster in this little poly bag, or maybe it's just an unrevealed set. Anyways, moving on from police to the generic stuff, we have this $10 race car, a four plus set, which doesn't look too simplified for being a four plus set. It looks like a simple build for a race car, but it doesn't seem like it uses any big chunky pieces to make the build simple is what I'm trying to say. It's whatever, but at least the four plus kids will enjoy it. And then we have this go-kart, which the go-karts is actually kind of a fun setup. I wish there was a whole go-kart ring, but uh, I guess this is our little taste to hold us over until we get Lego Mario Kart sets. $10, nothing too amazing or unique, but still a cute little go-kart two pack. Then we have a single drum roller or a construction steam roller. At $10, this is actually a great vehicle for them to put out as we don't really get too many single drum rollers or even just $10 construction sets nowadays. Feels like a lot of the construction sets are just four plus sets. Then there's a $15 blue monster truck, which is, yeah, whatever. If people like monster trucks, they'll probably like this one. It's not for me. I don't really like big oversized vehicles. Then we have an emergency ambulance and snowboarder. 
I love LEGO City Ambulances, but this one's four plus, so this one does seem to use a huge piece as the base to make the building process simpler. So it doesn't have the appeal of that previous race car four plus set we just took a look at. It does feel like things are juniorized here, which is unfortunate because like I said, I love a new ambulance. But one of my favorite sets from this wave is the $20 burger truck. I love getting food trucks in Lego, but we usually get ice cream trucks and pizza trucks. To actually get this burger design is very welcome, but I also love how you can easily remove that and have your own burger stand. Then what makes things even better is not only the exclusive torso of the outfit for this mobile restaurant, we also have an exclusive two by two print of a sesame seeds bun. That is so welcome. I'm glad Lego actually gave us a piece for that. And it's specialized and it's something that's very useful. And dang, that burger looks really good. Then we have the emergency rescue helicopter, which is also a $20 set. I mean, you know, getting an ambulance copter is something we don't get too often from Lego. I do like the aqua blue color scheme the minifigures and the vehicle has but personally it just doesn't really stand to me as something I want to buy. Though then again, like I said, an emergency rescue copter is something that's welcome compared to other vehicles that have been done many times before from this wave, like say this race car and car, car carrier truck. Yeah, this one is just kind of whatever for me, just generic race car build. The carrier truck is kind of cool, but I think all the goodwill is kind of removed with this really weird pink and aqua color scheme for the bases of the two trucks. But again, I guess that adds a wacky design that makes kids buy this from Lego City. There's also a $20 sailboat, which I really like. I love casual boats for Lego City civilians, and this doesn't disappoint. It looks very modern, but again, I have a bias towards boats, and I do like that they include a dolphin in this set as well. That's a cool little side build. But moving on to the fire stuff, we have this $10 fire rescue motorcycle. This is one of those four plus sets that's very juniorized and uses as large pieces while sacrificing the design of the build as I was previously talking about. So yeah, not a set for me. I guess people like those exclusive prints though as four plus sets always have exclusive prints. Then there's a $10 fire rescue helicopter, which reminds me of like a 90s Lego poly bag. Then there's this, uh, I don't even know what to call it, four x four fire truck and rescue boat, which is $40. I like the setting on the box. Like, geez, that's a really cool River Creek design, which makes for a very generic build of this uh, four x four fire engine and rescue boat. That's just not for me, unfortunately. But I do like this camping build with a little small campsite on fire at the side. That's pretty cool. But yeah, not a set for me at $40. Then we have the $60 fire rescue plane, which gives me so many vibes of that 2012 one for the fire rescue, forest fire stuff. Um, yeah, just feels like a throwback to that one, which makes sense because that hasn't been on the market for more than 10 years. Then we have a fire station with fire truck, which this is the most interesting of the bunch for fire. I really like the build of the fire station, which has those brick built or more specifically tile built one and two on the actual garage doors. The black and red color scheme reminds me of the 2005 LEGO City Fire Station. Very unique positioning and, and overall shaping of this building. The fire truck is kind of what you would expect for a fire engine. But uh, yeah, giving me some throwback vibes to 2005 fire stuff, but also standing on its own. Finally, we'll take a look at the LEGO City Space stuff. So LEGO is doing something crazy and branding space as a sub-theme across multiple themes this wave. So you're going to see this corner thing that says space across stuff like even dreams, which is kind of crazy. Regardless, this first one is a space construction mech. $10, and I kind of love this set because it gives me vibes of that $10 Power Miners mech, which was one of my first, if not my first LEGO Power Miners set. So yeah, getting some Power Miners vibes there. I love the color they chose on those crystals which isn't a color that was used for Power Miners, so that's like a unique color for that piece to collect throughout this wave. Um, and then I like the little mini robot. Then there's this $30 4 plus set, which yeah, that's kind of a highway robbery at $30. Very basic, kind of reminds me of that Benny's 4 plus set for Lego Movie 2. Too much at $30, but I do love the new astronauts throughout these sets where they kind of give me some Galaxy Squad vibes. You got that green, you got that blue, which looks nice. Interesting helmet, which looks like the Space Miner's helmet from Series 12, but I'm not entirely sure. 
Oh, and the alien of this set looks different from the ones in other sets. I kind of like the simple build there with those two pieces, but yeah. Then there's the Interstellar Spaceship. No, not from the movie Interstellar, but a cool name nonetheless. This is $30 with 240 pieces. And yeah, it feels overpriced at $30. It should have been 20 bucks. But the actual build here has an interesting V design, almost like a Vic Viper design that I kind of like. Again, it just feels overpriced at the $30 price. Then we have the one that leaked earlier, which is the Space Explorer rover in Alien Life. As I said before, don't really care about this oversized vehicle, but I am very interested in the Alien Life included in this set. And now that we have a better look, you can see how it's that Angry Birds crown piece upside down with a regular minifigure head. Those are a kind of adorable if you had to ask me. Yeah, this feels overpriced at 40 and those will come in different sets, but that's currently the cheapest way to get one of the space aliens. Of course, at least this style of space alien. Then we have the modular space station, which is $100. That's kind of crazy, but uh, this is taking that modular space station that they had from a couple years back to the next level where it's more expanded. There's a noticeable ring in the center in so many interesting compartments for rooms and stuff. I do appreciate that. I like just each scene going on here. And it's cool how you could remove these and make like a little space train out of it. I don't know, I like that build. <laughs> and then finally we have the $140 space base and rocket launch pad. This is the most expensive out of the whole first half of the year Lego City stuff. 1,422 pieces. And yeah, I mean, the design here, I really like that central space base, which is a lot more, I guess, out of space in its design than something from like, say, last Lego City space bases, which were more grounded in our world. So I do kind of like how that gives me those classic sci-fi vibes for that space station. The side vehicle builds are fine. They're not like the most interesting vehicles there. You know, I, I kind of wish for a launch pad, they had a more interesting rocket design. But still, it's a different enough vehicle from the ones in the other sets this wave. I'm not super like dying over these uh, Lego City Space play sets, the larger ones, but I do think they're strong enough in the color scheme they use and in the overall builds to justify a lot of their prices. There's one more set, I almost forgot about it, and that is a Space Poly Bag. This little space hover bike is nothing too special. I mean, it's cool and a cheap way to get that uh, new uniform, which is really nice. I love that helmet and to get those new colors for the crystals. But yeah, it's not like anything revolutionary with the actual build itself. So if I had to pick my favorites of this wave, my absolute favorite would actually be the burger truck. Nice $20. I think it's a great value. I like the versatility where you could have it as an actual fast food truck or you can have it as its own shack. My second favorite is actually that C hideout set. Again, I just kind of like the idea of getting some of those container ships kind of pieces as a separate play set build and just kind of this on the sea structure that I don't find Lego does too often unless it's like a, a on the sea exploration base or whatever. So yeah, that's my two cents. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you gonna buy any of these sets? Which ones will you buy? Subscribe here for more Lego news and commentary and I'll see you later. Peace out, bye.